Good morning. Today we are going to be starting to look at your case study. Now this case study is of a city in a newly emerging economy country. So the city we're going to be looking at is called Mumbai. So at the end of today's lesson you will know the location of Mumbai, a little bit about the history of Mumbai, why Mumbai is so important. So here are the objectives here to know where India is, where Mumbai is, and why Mumbai is important. The first thing that I'd like you to do is I'd like to see how much you already know. So in a moment, I'm going to ask you to pause the video and I'd like you to consider these questions and I'd like you to note down on a piece of paper if you know the answers to them or anything else about India. So I'd like you to consider which continent is India in? Which cities are in India? Do you know the names of any of them, the location of any of them? Does India have links to Britain? What might they be? What's the history of India? Do you know anything about Indian culture or the history? Pause the video, have a think about what you already know. Okay, let's move on. The first thing is we need to know whereabouts India is in the world. So here I've put a map on the board which you can see. So India I've coloured in blue so you can see where India is here. So India is in the continent of Asia. So if we describe the location of a country, we would always say which continent it is in. So it's in Southern Asia because Asia's here and India is at the south of it. You can use the compass rose, I'll put a compass rose on the board here so you can see which direction is which. Now then we would normally say what direction India is from another country. So to help you, I've put Pakistan on here. So you should be able to see, if we use our compass directions, that India is to the, what direction is that? Southeast of Pakistan. Then we would normally see if we could give either a latitude or a longitudinal line. Now, a latitude line, well, we haven't got them on this map, so we couldn't give it from this, but you could look in a different map to find out the longitude of India. What we have got, though, is we have this latitudinal line here called the Tropic of Cancer. So we could also say India is on the Tropic of Cancer. Okay, so let's have a look at the physical geography of India so that we can find out a little bit about it. So this is a physical map of India and this is the sea and over here this shows you the height of the land. So the green areas are low land and then the yellow is land between 200 and 500 metres and so on. So this land here, if it's grey, it's going to be really mountainous in that area. So if we were to describe what it, what it was like across India, the height of the land, then we might have a look at the colours. So if you have a look around here, you should be able to see that around the edges of the coast, there is mainly lowland. Um, then over here in the far north of India, it's really mountainous. You've got the Himalayan mountains there. Um, so it's really, really high over here. Um, there's some lowland in the north over here, near to Nepal as well. And then you've got land here which is um, slightly higher in the centre of India. Now, if you look at the cities, now the cities are shown on the map with these little red um, circles. And you should be able to see that actually most of the cities in India, not all of them, but most of them are in the lowland areas around the, around the coast of India. Okay, that's probably from historical training reasons and also because low flat land um, is easier to build on. Um, the capital of India is called New Delhi and that's over here in the north of India. Now we're going to be focusing on one city in India. We're going to be focusing on Mumbai which is over here on the west coast of India um, and it says underneath there, you probably can't see it, but it says Bombay and that's because Mumbai used to be called Bombay. So if we just pull up another map Okay, so this map is once again showing India, but the difference with this map is it's showing the different Indian states. Now, once again, if we have a look at Mumbai, it's on the western coast, okay, next to the Arabian Sea, and it's in this state here, which is quite difficult to pronounce, so if you just split the word into parts, so it's Maharashtra state, so it's in the Maharashtra state. Um, now, you don't really need to know that word off by heart, but if I was to use the word, I'd expect you to have some idea that Mumbai was in that area. 
Um, now, Mumbai itself, I know it looks like it's just on the coast, but it's actually an island. So if you zoom in on a map of uh, Mumbai, you'll see it, it's part of um, a, a series of islands actually um, over here. And it was a really, really important place for trading. But because of the fact that it's an island, it's caused some major issues for Mumbai in terms of urbanisation. So people moving to the city, the city hasn't really got anywhere else for it to expand to. So therefore, um, it becomes incredibly crowded if people move there. So let's have a little look at a photograph, an aerial photo of Mumbai. So if you have a look at this photograph here, have a look at it and consider, do you think this is an urban area or do you think it's a rural area? Can you see, why do you think, why do you think the city's become so large? Why do you think it's so important? Can you see any features there that would make it really good for building a city there, for example? Can you think of any issues you think might be faced in Mumbai, bearing in mind that it's a newly emerging economy? Okay, we're going to focus on some of these issues a little bit later on, but just to point out, you should have seen that this city area is densely populated, okay? This city has 22 million people living in it, and it's a mega city, and it's still expanding. Many people are moving from the rural areas to the city, so it's getting larger and larger. Um, but one of the benefits of its location, one of the reasons why it's such a good place to build a city, the land is flat and it's right on the coast. And that means it's got huge importance as a, as a city that's importing and exporting goods. It has a large port there. So just in terms of a little bit of history about India, Mumbai and our links to it, which is what I talked about at the very beginning of the lesson. Um, so just so you know this, India was a colony of Britain. So that means that we had control over India for a number of years. India became independent in 1947. So prior to that, we controlled and ran the government of India. And because of that, we wanted to do huge amounts of trade with India. But if you can imagine, we were trading by ship and the ships would have to go all the way around the south of Africa and the west of Africa to get back to Britain, um, which was very expensive and took a long time. Now, in 1869, this canal was built here through, well, between Africa and the Middle East. This canal was built, which means that ships could then travel through these, this section of land. This was huge um, because it meant we could now um, send our ships this more direct route to trade with India. Um, and that's partly why Mumbai grew to be such a big city. It's because of its location. Look. You don't want to be sending ships all the way around the bottom of India, the south of India. You want to be sending them the shortest distance possible. So the location of Mumbai is a really good spot for the British to trade um, with India. So that's part of the reason why Mumbai grew so much historically. Okay, so in a few minutes you're going to do some activities. But just before you do these activities, I'm just going to talk a little bit about why Mumbai is such an important place. Um, so I've got some letters here that I use to help in an exam. So if you were to ask why Mumbai is really important, this is the way I remember it. I think, well Mumbai is famous. So I think of the letters F-A-M-E, fame. So first of all, Mumbai is really important because it's the financial capital of India. It has a stock exchange base there. So it makes huge amounts of money from financial services. Then I've got the letter A. Well, they make lots and lots of different products in Mumbai. Okay, so it's the industrial capital. Um, it actually produces 25% of India's um, production, things that they produce. And it's particularly famous for aerospace engineering, medical research, computers, um, and electrical equipment, if you would like some specifics. Um, there are lots of uh, transnational companies as well that have their headquarters base in Mumbai. Um, then you've got the M. Well, Mumbai is famous for Bollywood films. So you've probably heard of Hollywood. Bollywood is the Indian sort of form of Hollywood. So they make lots of different films, um, which often have lots of dancing, traditional dancing within them. Um, they're really famous worldwide. And hundreds of people are employed within this industry. So it's got a massive media importance. And finally, well, you already know this because we mentioned it before, but in terms of exports, so the E stands for exports, 
And as we know, it is the gateway to Europe. So Mumbai is called the gateway to Europe because it has the port there for exporting and importing goods. And 40% of India's trade passes through the port of Mumbai. So it's massively important in terms of this. Okay, I'm gonna explain what I'd like you to do now. So what you're going to do is, you're gonna to have to adapt this if you're using a computer, all right, in which case you don't need to print things out necessarily, you can just do it all on computer. But what I wanted you to do is to glue in the map of India, okay, but you can just have that available. Then I'd like you to describe the location of India, and then I'd like you to describe the location of Mumbai. Don't forget to use directions, okay, um, and to tell me which continent India is in. Then you're going to cut out the information about Mumbai and how important it is. So I'll show you that here. So I'm going to send you this separately. So these are loads of information about Mumbai. I'd like to cut them up. If you can't, because you don't have a printer, what you can do is you can put this onto paint and you can just copy each of the different bits. Um, and then you can paste them onto your map. Because what you're then going to do is glue the information onto your map and then I'm going to ask you to shade in each of the statements a different colour to classify them in terms of these categories. Industry, media, physical geography, history, and then this lilac colour you can use for other. So once again, you could do that on computer, you can highlight it on Word, and then you can copy it over and put it on top of your map. And then what you should end up with is you should end up with something that looks a bit like that, okay? Obviously you should have a description as well of where India is and where Mumbai is, but then you should have a map which has got on it all the different reasons why India is so important, okay? All shaded in and classified into those different areas. The final thing that I'd like you to do, number four, it says explain in one paragraph as a summary why Mumbai is important both nationally, so within India, and globally, as in across the whole world. And don't forget the way to remember why Mumbai is important. If you are asked this in an exam, why is your city in an NEE important? It's because of fame. F-A-M-E. Finance, aerospace, media and exports.